wanted to show you guys something kind of cool from my past. So I've been coming to Six Flags Great Adventure since I was a little kid. And if you come in front of the Gotham City gift shop, there are some stars. This one here says Adventure Rivers. There used to be a uh, like water slide ride here in the park and you can find these stars right in front of the Gotham City gift shop. There are a few others here uh, that are no longer here. Like this one, the Scream Machine. Who remembers the Scream Machine? That was a big deal when that was built. Oh man, that thing is missed. We wanted to see it gone, but also it is now missed after all these years. It was definitely a classic here at Six Flags. We are on the way to the other side of the park, but instead of walking over there, we're gonna take the uh, one mode of transportation to get over there. That would be the cable cars. If you want some really extraordinary views, take these over. Very unique set of cable cars. There's actually two that go on the other side of the park and two that come back. There goes a the cable car right there. Now, the reason why there are so many cable cars here, and it looks like they're not offering both rows today, but the reason why is in case you guys didn't know, this is actually a very unique set of cable cars. These were made for volume. Oh, I never noticed this sign here, and this is gonna be a dead giveaway. These are actually from the 1964-65 New York World's Fair. All the cable cars have been replaced, so when you ride in these cable cars, you're not riding the ones from the New York World's Fair back in 64. But we are passing by the only one that I know of, World's Fair car that is left, and it is now a maintenance car. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys that maintenance car so you can see it spotted for yourself the next time you're here at Six Flags Great Adventure. So when you're on the side of the park with Skull Mountain, you're gonna notice these three cable cars over here. One I think is just in for maintenance, but that green one there, the one with no roof, that's a maintenance car, and that is actually a car left over from the original World's Fair. It's the only one that I know of that's still left. Pretty awesome little piece of history. And away we go, like flying like Superman. Nice calm ride, gentle, and relaxing. Well, if you're afraid of heights, that ain't good, but other than that, it's a good ride. And right there is the Ferris wheel, and we were above that because we were on these swings over here. The swings are up there right at the moment, but we were on those swings right there. Right now they're loading the people on, but that was higher than the chairs, or higher than the, uh, what do you call these things? The gondola car things. Sky, whatever. <laughs> but higher than both of those things. So you guys can see there are a whole another set of cables there that is a whole nother ride, same exact ride, but they have two of these to deal with those World's Fair volumes of people. And usually they're both running, but not today. Surprise for a Saturday. Now, one thing to not forget if you guys are riding this ride is this is one way, exactly the way it was at the New York World's Fair back in 1964 and five. So from what I heard, a lot of people would get there, put their kids on these rides, and then a terrible thing would happen. <laughs> they would drop them off at the other side of the fair. Yeah, I wasn't there. I was too young for that, but yeah, that must have been interesting. So I think they put a sign up at some point that told people that it was a one-way ride. It's summertime, July, and the sawmill log flume is closed, emptied of all water. I don't know exactly what they're doing to it, but yeah, no water. That's terrible. And here we come into the ride station on the other side of the park. All right, very bouncy, very bouncy. Oh my god. <laughs> We have now magically been whisked to the other side of the park. And I gotta say, the ride station over here, definitely much cooler than the other one where you're just kind of staying outside. This one's awesome. And it's kind of like a, like a Fort Wilderness theme over here. There used to be other stuff over here, but still got Runaway Mine Train over here and some other rides. So that's what we're gonna do. And the line is long over here, just like it was on the other side because they're not properly utilizing the uh, the ride lines. 
But yeah, let's go get on another this ride. This is always a super fun ride. I love the parachutes. Hopefully they keep this around forever. There's a sign for the parachute train center. And if you come over here, look at this. Awesome little plaque. It tells you a lot about the ride. Height 250 feet. It's the world's tallest. I don't know if that's true anymore. Um, maybe for a parachute ride. Uh, but this is one of Six Flags original rides here. Favorite family thrill ride themed to the legendary ride, the 1939 New York World's Fair, the parachute jump at Coney Island. So that, that actually still sits there, but there are no parachutes on it. So if you ever wondered what that looked like, it looked just like this. They go pretty quick. And that's, if you ever see that big tower at Coney Island, that's pretty much what it was. It was I think it was themed to Lifesavers or something like that. And it's just gonna come right back down. I think we have discovered our first ride that we're gonna do it. Look, it's stuck. No, no, it's not. It's going down. Ah! Whoa, look at the view. <laughs> Look at the beautiful view over here. Oh Whoa! All right, I was able to go on our first ride and I gave you guys a little POV. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'll have to record on the rides, but this is one of those rides that you can probably get away with it. So just put your camera away before you get all the way back to the bottom. Well, while she's on El Toro, I'm going to wander around in the area, do some video, check out some cool abandoned stuff. I discovered last time that I was here that part of the uh, part of the entrance is still here from Rolling Thunder, which is crazy. I knew part of the track was here, but the entrance is here too, and I, I don't know how I ever didn't notice that, but now I'll, I'll always notice it. Yeah, look at this. Isn't this crazy that this entrance is still here? I've went on this so many times. It's just amazing. And it's all right there on the other side of this fence. Rolling Thunder, just in case you guys didn't know, is a roller coaster that used to exist. There's the ride platform, the queue line, that's about it. I had gone on that so many times, man. And it's such a shame that that roller coaster is gone. It was so, so fun to go on. I really enjoyed it. The one thing I didn't like about it was, you know, it was very bumpy, it was old, and you got grease in your eyes. I remember I didn't wear glasses at the time and you would get stuff in your eyes from the uh, the chain and the tracks and stuff like that. But other than that, it was a really cool ride and it's too bad if it was just a few layers later, they could have probably made this into a different coaster and you know put metal tracks on it. It would have been really, really amazing, but they missed the time. So now it's gone and it wasn't even that old. I think it was 19, 74 i don't know if it opened the year with the park and, and i think the last year of it was like 2000 i want to say six not positive on that and then el toro which is this one right here that we just showed you guys is the one that replaced it which is scary <laughs> um i brought you guys over to this section purposely because i want to show you guys something if you guys have been to six flags Road adventure maybe it's been a while maybe you've been here in the past i want to show you guys something that will bring back some awesome awesome memories Hope you guys are ready for this. I've shown this in the past. Last time I was here a couple years ago. Look at that. You see that white track right there? I don't know exactly why they left this up, but that is a piece of the track from Rolling Thunder. Look at that. It still remains there. That was the uh, dueling roller coaster, and uh, El Toro replaced that. Pretty cool to see it still staying there. I don't know why they kept it, but it's still pretty cool. So here is another cool fact that you guys may not have known. So the ride entrance, the platform, is actually from a previous Six Flags ride called Viper that was here back in the 90s. I don't know what the exact years were, but that is the exact same ride entrance. Also, great news, Kindakai, I've seen that going a couple times, so hopefully we get to ride that as well. 
Looks like one of the old cars from Rolling Thunder. That was a good memory. They should have never took it down. Well, it's still partially there. If you go on El Toro, you guys can see a part of the track. For some reason, they left the part. Man, if they only waited a couple more years, they could have RMC'd this thing, and it would have been so freaking cool.